You know, the accolades this player has gotten over the years are not enough. I consider him the quiet superstar of the late 1970s, the number one draft pick, uh, the player that stopped Montreal from winning the Cup in 1980 but helped him win in 86, the pride of North Sydney, Nova Scotia, a good maritime boy, Bobby Smith, now 6'4", 210, uh, hometown was Ottawa. Came to Major Providence in 1975 with 75 big goals with Ottawa West of the OMHA. Now, over three campaigns, he was one of the most dominant forwards of the OMJHL era <coughs> with the, uh, the 67s. 58, 135, and 192 points. That 78 campaign, Minnesota, in the midst of the Cleveland-Minnesota merge year, took him number one overall. Now, prior to the draft, this is what he did. World Junior Championship 78 bronze, uh, playing with Gretzky. Canadian Major Junior Player of the Year in 78 with Ottawa. OMJHL Tilson Trophy, MVP, 78 with Ottawa. The CCM OMJHL Player of the Year in 78 again with the 67s. Memorial Cup Parsons Trophy winner for sportsmanship, 77 with Ottawa. OMJHL Powers Trophy Points Leader, 78 with Ottawa, 192. Memorial Cup All-Star First Team, 77 with Ottawa, OMJHL All-Star First Team, 78 with the 67s, All-Star Second Team, 77 with Ottawa. Now he held the OMHL record for most points in one season, 192, most assists in one campaign, 1-1-23 again in 78, and most power play goals in one game, 5 versus Niagara Falls on October 2nd, 77. Uh, Ottawa records most points in one season with 192, most assists in one campaign, 123 and 78, and most power play goals in one game against that iconic contest against Niagara Falls. Memorial Cup uh, points leader, 77 with Ottawa with 12, and Memorial Cup's goals leader uh, in 77 with Ottawa with 6, tied. OMJHL goals, uh, uh, goals leader in 77 with 65, assists leader in 78 with 123. Playoff points leader for OMHL playoffs, 32 and, uh, and uh, 77, 30 and 78. OMHL playoffs goals leader, 16 with Ottawa and 77, 78 with the 67s uh, when he had 15. Now ranked by the NHL Central Scouting Service as number one prospect for the 78 NHL draft. Rated in the Hockey News draft preview issue as the number one overall prospect for the 78 NHL draft. He played left wing for his part of his junior career before coming a, becoming a full-time center in 77-78. Now, he played in a line with future uh, Minnesota North Star uh, line mate Steve Payne and Tim Higgins for Ottawa in 78. Also started in junior tennis. He was very active in charitable causes during his years in Ottawa, frequently visiting hospitals and nursing homes. He eventually took chemistry and psychology courses at Ottawa University during his junior career. He also attended the prestigious Laurentian High School in Ottawa. Now, his debut, ironically, was at Montreal October 11, 78. And, of course, he's iconic number 15. He wore that with Minnesota, but wore number 18 when he returned. Of course, number 15 with Montreal. Now, he won the Stanley Cup of Montreal in 86 and retired at the end of the 93 season. Uh, full NHL uh, stats with uh, Minnesota-Montreal, 357 goals, 1,036 points, 679 assists, smooth on the ice, and a big playoff total of 160 points in 184 games, including 64 goals and 96 assists. Now, NHL awards and honors. Caller of the Year, Rookie, 79, Minnesota. NHL Rookie of the Year and Hockey News NHL Rookie of the Year in 79. All-Star Game, 81-82 in Minnesota. 89 in Montreal, 91 with Minnesota. Stanley Cup Finals, he lost with Minnesota in 81. And 89 with Montreal and 91 with Minnesota. So played in four Stanley Cup Finals and uh, uh, two with Minnesota, one with, Mon two with Montreal. Minnesota, uh, Rookie of the Year for WTCN, 79. Tree Star Award, home tree, uh, tree stars leader in 79, sort of like the Molson Cup. Minnesota Stargazers Club Award, most popular, 79. Minnesota uh, Radio Trophy, WCCO points leader, 79, 81, 82, 83. 100 point seasons, 82 with Minnesota, 114. Minnesota Dallas records, most points in one season, 114 and 82. Most points in one game, seven against Winnipeg on Remembrance Day, 1981. And most points in one season by the center, 114 and 82. Minnesota goals leader, 1979 with 30. Assist leader, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. 
Minnesota playoff points leader, 82 with 6. Minnesota playoff uh, goals leader, 83 with 6. Uh, playoffs assist leader for Minnesota, 80, 81, 82. Montreal playoff points leader, uh, 88, uh, 93. Goals leader, 28 and 87. Assist leader, 66 for Montreal and 88. Montreal playoffs points leader, 85 and 89. Of course, he lost in the finals against Calgary. Playoffs goals leader, 87 and 89 with Montreal. He was eventually named Winnipeg's Executive Vice President of Hockey Operations on May 21st, 96, and relocated with the team to Phoenix on July 1st, 96, adding the general manager title on December 11, 96. He did, then became an alternate governor on April 2nd, 97, and remained there until February 2001. Again, he played with the big line with Steve Payne and fellow Maritimer Al McAdam for Minnesota in 79 and 80. He set a Minnesota-Dallas record since broken for points in one season by a rookie with 74 and 79. Again, a very fluid player, a little bit of Jean Beliveau, a little bit of Doug Gilmore, and tough as nails. Uh, very rarely would be knocked off the puck. He led all rookies in points, uh, goals, and assists in 79. Unfortunately, a broken ankle uh, kind of almost throughout his 80 season. He set the Minnesota-Dallas record since broken for assists in one playoff year with 17 and 81. He set uh, a Minnesota-Dallas record since broken for points and assists in one playoff series, uh, 11 and 8 versus Calgary in 81. He also became the first player in Minnesota franchise history to score 100 points in a season when he did this in 82. Now the 15-2 win over Winnipeg, was big for Minnesota. He had four goals and three assists in that contest. Now, he suffered a really bad broken jaw in 85, uh, which put him out for most of the season. He also missed part of the uh, the 1990 season with a separated right shoulder, which, which happened to a Montreal January 6th game versus Buffalo, and also with a broken jaw a month later against Hartford. He set the NHL and Minnesota Dallas record since broken for game-winning goals in one playoff year with five in 91. He also missed part of the 92 season uh, with a bad case of the flu, suffered in March 92. He also missed part of the 93 season with a mild injury, suffered in a January 21st 93 game versus Ottawa. He was also very active in the NHL PA during his playing days, serving as a VP of the organization from 81 to 90. Now, uh, he was a world championship player uh, for Team Canada, 79, fourth place, and also won a bronze in 82 in that great combined year where a lot of Montreal Canadiens and uh, <coughs> Edmonton Oilers were involved. Now, he was drafted to WHA in 1978 by Quebec, but unfortunately, uh, we never saw him play for the Nordiques. He also attended University of Minnesota during off-seasons of his playing days and enrolled full-time after retirement to complete his business degree. He earned his BS and MBA degrees from Minnesota's Carlson School of Management between 93 and 96. Uh, eventually, he, he purchased a 64% share of the Halifax the QMJHL franchise on September 8, 2003, and became majority order. He was also na he named himself chairman and remained position into 2004. Now, he also played on a Minnesota team that competed in, in Sweden's 1980 DN Cup tournament. He was invited to Team Canada's training camp for the 81 Canada Cup, but failed to make the squad. He was on the Minnesota team that joined Montreal again to compete in the 1990 NHL Friendship Tour in Soviet Union. Now, uh, the Ontario Hockey League has also named a Scholastic Player of the Year award, the Bobby Smith Trophy, in his honor in 1979. Again, still very active in charitable causes, especially during years in Minnesota, working to help raise money for children's cancer research. Now, he also did promotional work for Marigold Daily during his first stint in Minnesota. Now, he joined former junior teammate Ron Davidson, a 1980 Canadian Olympian, and taking over as co-director of the Ultra Skills Hockey Schools based in New Lissacard, Ontario in 2002 and remained in that position until September 2003. He was also named center on the all-time OMHL team by a CHL panel in 1999. Now, born Robert David Smith, also known as Bob Smith in his playing days, he's also the younger player of former McGill football player Dan Smith and Canadian junior tennis star Mary Lou Smith. Again, tennis very big in the Smith uh, clan. Now, the big deal, and we're still talking about this, Minnesota traded Bobby Smith, again, he killed us in the 1980 playoffs, to the Habs in exchange for Keith Acton, Mark Napier, and an 84 third-round pick, uh, which eventually became Ken Hodge Jr. on October 28, 1983. Nearly seven years later, Minnesota got Smith back when it obtained him from Montreal in exchange for the 92 fourth-round pick, which was Louis Bernard, on August 7, 
1990. So the, be the best thing about Bobby Smith, and you saw that in his game-winning goal in Game uh, 5 of the 1986 Stanley Cup Finals, what always Bobby was doing, he was doing something. He knew we needed a fourth goal in that crucial uh, Game uh, 5, and uh, that's what he did. Now, mostly a hockey executive in retirement. Uh, again, the majority were of the Mooseheads for a number of years. Uh, now, his time with the Ottawa 67s remains some of the best ever. And uh, he was also, again, GM of the Coyotes from 96 to 2000. Now, uh, he was also head coach of the Mooseheads for most of the 2011 uh, season. Now, again, uh, his stats don't tell the whole story. Now, you're wondering here to yourself, ladies and gentlemen, why isn't this guy in the Hockey Hall of Fame? Well, good question on that. I still don't know why. Four Stanley Cup Finals. Uh, I know he had a limited career, about 15, 16 seasons. But the numbers he put up were so consistent that it deserves some recognition. Now, the goals in Minnesota those first few years, 30, 27, 29, 43, 24, 74, 83, 93, 114, 77 points. Montreal, again, in the... Uh, when he came over 84, again, they almost defeated the Islanders into the Stanley Cup Final. By 86, they won the Cup. In 89, they were Cup contenders again. And uh, he put up some dynamite numbers. 63, 56, 86, 75, 93, 83 points. Your typical 35, 65, or 60 assists uh, player. Back to Minnesota, more of a uh, the defensive player. And again, um, wasn't scared to take a penalty every once in a while. He had big penalty numbers in Ottawa. Last season, he had 192 points. He wasn't taking any crap. So at the World Juniors, he had uh, uh, a goal and four assists for five points. And the World Championship in 79, we all remember that, uh, that series where he almost won the medal, eight points. But Bobby Smith, again, as smooth as can be, loved by the fans, uh, respected by his opponents, probably one of the most underrated number one picks in NHL history. But I was going to get a perfect, he wasn't a first-line player, a perfect second-line player, comparable to Stevie Osman, comparable to the Messier, uh, wasn't scared to do the rough play, and he was always doing something like Beliveau. Sometimes with Beliveau, it was almost like he, he was playing lazy, but then all of, a, all of a sudden the puck was in the net. With Bobby Smith, everything he did defensively, offensively, there was something going on, a very cerebral player. Probably the most cerebral player to ever skate for the Montreal Canadiens since the last uh, dynasty of the 1970s. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's our story about the great Bobby Smith. Still needs to be in the Hockey Hall of Fame. If you like what we're doing here, give us a like, comment, subscribe, or share. And don't forget, keep your stick in the ice. Bye.